This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. During this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to find game objects through your scripts. So I pre I've prepared a simple scene here with four game objects, with, which is the floor, player, a light, and a camera, that is all. And I have a script here, which is called find object script, and it has three different objects. And essentially one is the light, one is the floor, and one is the camera. The script is attached to the player, and we're trying to find these game objects. So the way to find game objects, the most common ways, ways are essentially uh, the first and most simple way is just uh, setting the access modifier to public, which will allow you to find this game object on the inspector. So if I were to go to the player, I can just find the light here, as you can see. The light is public, so it's displayed in the inspector, and I can just drag and drop my light here. And this way, I just gain access to the light game object. And another way that is a very common way is finding uh, through name. So instead of setting this to public, you may want to set it to private. And in order to find game objects that are, are private to your script, you need to write game object which is the class and then find and then within the brackets of the find you write the name of the game object that you're trying to find in our case this is a floor and within the script here uh, in the string i'm gaining access to the floor through its name so if there are multiple game objects of the that are named floor it will just find the first one and bring it back to you so uh, make sure that it's only one game object with this name and likewise uh, the third way that is also very common is through tag and the tag you can find it in the inspector which is uh, right here you can see that our my floor here is untagged but my camera has a main camera tag here and I can find this camera through its tag so find with tag and write the tag's uh, name. Again, if there are multiple game objects with the same tag, it will just bring the first one that it finds. So make sure that it's just one game object that you're trying to access with that tag. And just to demonstrate that this works, I will deactivate the light and change the scale of our floor and move a bit the camera just for demonstration purposes that this actually works. So I'll just run this and you'll see the camera slightly moving. The light, as you can see, is turned off. So I'll just turn it on again so we can see. You can see the camera moving and also the floor is slowly scaling down very slowly. So uh, I've set it a bit too low value thing on the scaling, but you can see that it's uh, getting reduced on the inspector. So yeah, this is uh, the most simple way and efficient way of finding game objects. So public uh, so the through the inspector through the find of the game object class or the find with tag again from the game object class okay thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe for more uh, videos like this one and goodbye thank you want to become a professional game developer i designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal. Make sure to check the link in the description for more information.